<clears throat> um, all right, man, look, uh, I got a lot of you, uh, jumping in my DMs, okay, um, asking me to take a look at this, all right, um, Deontay Wilder, uh, this jump rope video here, um, you guys are asking me what I think, if you are a show business partner who watches my podcast every day, uh, you don't really have to guess what I think, okay, you should already know, I think it's wonderful, all right, I think it's absolutely wonderful, um, but before I tell you why I think it's wonderful, uh, I, I, I want to say this uh, as well. Um, I've been pretty focused on Deontay Wilder for this uh, lead up uh, into their third fight, Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury 3. Um, I've been pretty focused on Deontay Wilder. Why? Because he never beat Tyson Fury. He's coming off a loss. I'm very, very curious uh, to see how a guy who's been extremely successful like Deontay Wilder, knocking everybody out, getting bullied by Tyson Fury and seeing how he bounces back. Um, I think it's inspirational. I think there's that's the reason why we watch the sport of boxing to be inspired So how does this guy come back? So I'm really focused on a state of mind when it comes to Deontay Wilder how I can get inspired plus I want the best Deontay Wilder I mean at his bare minimum at the essence of who we are as Boxing fans we are here to be entertained So the most entertaining thing I can get July 24th is the best Deontay Wilder versus the best Tyson Gypsy King Fury. That's it. Now, I want to say this, too, real quick. Uh, there's a difference between hating and criticizing. And I want all of you who are in the comments right now who's probably hating on this jump rope, I just want to take you through uh, some chronological um, uh, way of thinking here. First and foremost, I know me. I can only speak for myself. I was criticizing Deontay Wilder. For his excuses. I wanted less excuses and I wanted to see more training. Specifically the left hand. Deontay Wilder, Malik Scott, what I see now is a lot of training footage. Deontay Wilder working on a lot of new things. Especially the left hand. Left hooks to the body specifically. Deontay Wilder is throwing punches to the body now. Flicking the jab a little bit more. A jab that can actually hurt you and not just out there as a measuring stick. Footwork side to side, head movement, all those things. I'm applauding that. Yes, go wilder. Hating is if you still complaining after that. It's less excuses, more training. Fine. A lot of you were talking about Deontay Wilder's legs. He doesn't have good feet. His legs need to be built up on. Now this. All of you in the comments should be saying, bravo. That's the point of criticizing. OK, when you see something that you think is a flaw that you perceive as a flaw, if somebody's building on it and working on it, bravo. That's the difference between criticizing and hating. I do not hate on this channel. I criticize. Why? Because at the end of the day, I want the best out of Tyson Fury, the best from Deontay Wilder. Now, let me tell you why I think this is wonderful. Um, Tyson Fury, his game plan, he said he will run over Deontay Wilder like an 18-wheeler running over a human being. He said that he's going to come in 300 pounds. He's going to run over him worse this time than he did the second time. Pretty much saying that the second time he tried it out, saw that it was successful, now he can run over him with confidence. Fine. Deontay Wilder, this jump rope, to me, lets me know that you're not going to be in the way of getting ran over by an 18-wheeler. If you're working on your calf muscles, working on your leg muscles, working on your rhythm, working on your toes, building those muscles up, building that bounce up, maybe you can bounce side to side and maybe you're not there quite yet for a 300 pound Tyson Fury. Maybe you're moving already. Never in one spot for him to find you. This is good work. Bravo. Deontay Wilder 2.0. It's a boy, Damon. <laughs> Rebirth. So happy for Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder doing this. Now, I know a lot of you are going to bring up Mark Breland. Um, Mark Breland said that he couldn't get Deontay Wilder to do jump rope. Um, so, okay, uh, that's the pass. Looking forward, we can only deal with what's ahead of us. Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder 3. Him doing this kind of 
raises the probability that we will be getting at least a better Wilder than we got the second fight. All I want, all we should want as boxing fans, the best Wilder versus the best Fury. Let's get excited for July 24th. I'm out.